Okay, so it looks like I got to go down to that bottom line right there because that's all all knocked over there. Start taking it down. That's what we're going to do. Now I think I'm going to try and I've got my highly technical uh, camera holder here. It's a box and some tape. Now let's just stick it in the slot there and I'll see if I can't. I'm going to use the vacuum to try and catch some of the dust off the grinder because I'm going to, I'll try and grind it down. And well, that's what we're going to do. So now what else do I do? I need to think anything before just the old line there in line with the other one. Got to get the don't have anything to do with the opening here. I had to make sure the opening was right on that one. So okay. Okay, it's, it's supposed to be recording. Um, I'm just going to be casual about this, really. This is a dead simple little job. I need a piece. Now here's the tr here's the part I need to worry about. Four inches, and I wanted three inches wide. Frickin' a! I'll have to I'll have to put a gap on there or something to do that because I need three inches is what I want. So I've just it's three inches by seven. So. I've made a mark, and I'm just going to take take the grinder. Okay, I can tell straight away that blade is crap. Now I have, I have another one similar to it. It might be sharp enough, and then I've got a I've got one that's slightly bent that I might have to straighten out. Then I have this thing here called a, this is a combination one, but um, I'll have to sort this out and change the blade. Hello, horsey. Um, my location. I'm in a barn. Pretty good size barn, too. Professional operation here. Um, what I'm doing, repairing this wall. Did that yesterday. That was a 12 hour day. Got it done though, so it can be drying. Now this wall here is bowing out. Okay, so I'm gonna knock, knock something down. <laughs> Which one do I knock down? Knock the whole damn thing down almost. See that's, now I gotta think about that for a minute. Okay. Um, now, Quickly running out of. I can only upload for about a minute on a tape. So those are the tools I'm going to be used. Just you just need a couple of pry bars, and then this thing right here. Little I have a. It's an adjustable speed mini grinder. And when I when I turn that on, the vacuum turns on too. So I, I gotta gotta stop for a second. Bearwood Brown Handyman here doing a bit of a re rebuild on you block wall here. They uh, didn't use the right strength of mortar and it didn't hold together. Or the horse hit it and it still didn't hold together. But there's no steel or anything in there holding it together. There's going to be a steel frame above this. But uh, what I wanted to show you was it doesn't take a lot of tools. Ah, it's Bearwood Brown here. My job Today and yesterday, maybe tomorrow, is repairing these two stable walls. Did this one yesterday. Started at 11 in the morning, finished at 11.30 at night. 12 hours, a little, little time off for lunch and stuff. But what I wanted to show you right now was um, the reason this wall is being rebuilt is because the mortar failed. So I'm taking my grinder a little mini grinder and then giving myself some spaces where I can get off get this stuff off once you get a little place to chip it it's a lot easier rather than trying to hammer on it I can I can just run this grinder I'm not going to do it one handed but that's the idea just just run it right along that edge and then you can use it to uh, to clean to clean the block up get rid some of that action and then Okay, so there we go. 
Okay, where am I? I'm in the stable. I'm doing a brick wall, brick wall, can't get that right, a block wall. These are the fairly heavy uh, wall. Something happened, well, when they built the wall, they used, uh, the mortar mix wasn't any good as far as I can tell because it's flaking right off. So we're on the last couple of rows or courses, whatever you want to call it. So what I'm concerned about now is spacing between the two blocks, all of the blocks. I know this is going to be a a full one on the a full one on the end. This is going to be a full one now. So I'll put a full one there, and then what I what I've been doing is sort of one at a time. But I think this time I'm going to lay the whole course out roughly, so I can adjust the gap nicely in between. But you know, however you want to do it now. I'm going to come back and do the pointing, the heavy pointing, in a little bit. But there we are. That's uh, one of the things you got to think about now. Let's see how much time. Well, I've got to stop this one, and I'll start another one right after this. I just can't upload more than a minute or so at the moment. Stop. Okay. I was I was going to use my um. My small trowel, my margin trowel, but I've realized that the, uh, what do you call it? This, this float, not, not a float, but this trowel, it's square, so it goes right where you want it to, and hardly any of it will spill off. Whereas the other one's triangle shaped, and it was. Okay, this is part whatever of brick wall. So you want to level. Okay, well we're down to our one and a half courses to go. Now, the next step for me is to. I, I had a, one of the blocks broke, didn't split quite in half. But what I want to do now is just get the mortar up to the right right height. Uh, butter that. Butter that edge up there. What I do is on these ones, I'm really working it in there, making sure it's a good stick. If it's thin, that's one thing I can fill that. But if it doesn't stick, it's hard to do. So I'm working that into it. Same thing over on this end. Make sure you get the mud, the mortar sticking to that wall. So you get a Shove some stuff down in that crack there. Fill that up. Get that nice and full. Pack down in there. Okay, then just continue with the trying to get the mortar right height. High is what I want. I don't want to have to lift that off there again, so make a double sure. That's going to be plenty high. Give this in a bit. Now, this is where it broke. I'm trimming that end off. I've trimmed that end off to smooth it out again. But what I do is I just really rub that in there. I don't know if it's on the camera or not. Okay, so that both ends. I really wanted a good sticky job, which I do. It takes the bottom edge, the one that's going to be on the bottom, and this same thing, work some mud into there so it'll stick. And you put it up there. Okay, so it's important to get the ladder in the right place. Oh, they're both the same. I thought one was taller than the other, the ladder, so. I want to be putting down at it. I don't want to be pushing up at it. So I'll take up, go up high with it. This one's not too bad. It's a half. Okay, I want that bottom one there like that. So just put it on there to begin with. It's it's perfectly. It's going to be high a little bit. So I've got my levels up there. What I do? I use a mallet. Like this, bring that over, look at the bubble, looks dead on. So I'm just going to tap it to seed it, make those juices down there connect a little bit. Oh look, where I've got a 
joint on a joint. Oh my gosh! That's horrible. The world's going to come to an end. <coughs> so I've got to go prep that other, other piece of that joint there. Or maybe I can do this differently. Maybe I can put the full one in there. A full one in there. That is my full one. It's only half of it though. Oh, that's why. It's got a joint. I have to do that. I have to leave that joint there. So that's, that's the way it is.